Try some movement here. Today we're going to take a look at this hunting tripod setup from Sunway Photo. Now, you might be asking, why do I need a tripod? Well, a tripod could be good in the case of someone that maybe has a disability. Uh, obviously, for hunting applications, potentially competition applications, and any other time you really just want to increase that accuracy. What's up crew, it's Chris McCloverTack. Welcome back to the channel. Before we do any live fire, I do want to talk a little bit about this tripod setup from Sunway Photo. Now as we move along, I'm not going to mention any of the, the hardcore specific specifications. This is just a first look, but if you want to check that stuff out, they do sell this setup on Amazon and I'll have those links down below. Now when I unboxed this thing, I was really surprised at the weight and I thought right away, well this has got to be a pretty, pretty rugged, pretty solid tripod. Uh, it does come with a really nice case, come with a lot of different accessories. However, it's important to note that the upper clamp portion and the tripod itself are two different components. So uh, if you do look into purchasing this, you'll have to pick those up separately. Now, when I started playing with the adjustments on this tripod, I was even blown away more. Uh, you've got legs that have a, a ratchet style locking positioning system. Uh, they've got the standard latches where the legs will telescope in and out. There's three different sections on the legs with those. Now at the top of the tripod, you've got a locking style ball and socket. Super fluid movement with that, super smooth. Uh, and then the clamp itself, you do have an accessory rail, a pick rail on one side, the adjustment knob on the other. Again, super fluid, super smooth when adjusting that clamp in and out. And the cool thing about it is you've got adjustment from about an inch and a half all the way up to about three and a half inches wide. With all that out of the way, let's put a few rounds down range with this thing. This is my 24 inch 223, more of a bench rifle. That's what we're gonna try out first. As always, safety is first. Got my eyes on, gonna get my ears in and we'll make this happen. All right, a few rounds here with the uh, 24 inch two two three here we go So I didn't notice any movement here, uh, laterally anyway, inside the clamp, which is a good thing because this stock is hydro dipped and I was kind of concerned, even though the jaws inside this clamp uh, have a uh, rubber boot on them, I was kind of concerned it might rub on the finish. Doesn't look like that's been the case at all. And so now let's try out something that's not just uh, a little lighter weight, but also has a really weird stock design my little uh, Elite 22 here. And uh, yeah, let's see what she does. Try some movement here. And yeah, it looks like that pretty much went off without a hitch too. So as far as first impressions, seems to be rugged. Uh, all of the adjustments, fluid and smooth, really appear to be top quality. And at least with the rifles we tried out today, I don't really see any issues. So thumbs up all the way around. But if you're looking for something a little more portable, shooting sticks might be what you need to look into. And I got a video on some shooting sticks right over here as for this one, we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.